Hello there, my name is Saba Ali and I am standing in front of the new head office of the confection company Harab in Horne, the Netherlands. Today we will talk with Laura Kudijk, she is the sustainability manager of this company. So Laura, could you tell us a little bit more about Harab and why is sustainability important for Harab? Yes, I absolutely can. First of all, welcome at Harab and at our new HQ. Havib is a family-based uh, company already existing for more than 155 years and we are a brand in workwear and protective wear for different industries and sustainability basically is one of our core values so we try to make a positive impact where possible within our business and within our supply chain and I'd love to tell you more about that so uh, let's go in. So Laura, where are we heading right now? What do we see? Well, what you see here is our new tech experience center and our history wall where we show everything that Havab has done over the past 155 years. And you can see that we started as a spinning and weaving factory in the past and then we gradually moved our production abroad. Um, and you can see all, also that we have a, a royal uh, nomination, so we are a royal company. What we do as a member of Fairware and Foundation. So it's a really nice uh, to see everything that we've done over all this time. And in the middle here you see the Tech Experience Center, where we show the products and the collection that we offer to the market uh, for different industries. And here is also it's sort of a showroom where we also receive our, uh, our customers. So how are sustainable working clothes produced? Well, it starts of course with what materials do you use. So we try to look at using more and more sustainable uh, um, uh, materials. Uh, and what we do is we buy all the materials ourselves and we send that to the production locations in different production countries where the garments are uh, assembled. So that's what we call a cut, make, trim uh, principle, um, where we are uh, in, in control of what type of material we use. What are the main issues regarding to sustainability in the textile industry? Well, there are quite some challenges when it comes to sustainability in the textile industry, but uh, one of the most important ones is, of course, how it affects the people that work in the industry. So are the conditions that they work in safe? Are they paid a fair wage? Um, but also uh, in the production of the materials that we use, um, the processing, we use a lot of dye stuff. For example, those high visibility colors and chemicals to give it also the quality level that we need. So the environment is also uh, yeah, a big risk uh, to have a negative impact on uh, within this industry. Do you have sustainability goals? Yes, we absolutely do. Yeah, let's go upstairs, I will tell you more about it. What are the sustainability goals of Havip? Well, we have set a few goals for the year 2025. We want to see how we can uh, create positive impacts for people, planet. Uh, and we are trying to use more uh, sustainable materials. So we want to have 70% of our materials used uh, in 2025 to be more sustainable. Uh, we also want to reduce the impact when it comes to the use of chemicals and water. Uh, and for the people side, we are working towards a fair wage for the people that work in our production locations. We are a member of the Fairware Foundation since 2004. Uh, and last year we reached uh, the leader status. So we absolutely, of course, want to maintain that status as well. That's great news, but do you also report something about sustainability? Yes, we have a yearly social report um, that's part of uh, being a member of Fairware. So in that report we tell about everything that we've done during the year uh, when it comes to monitoring the working conditions in the production locations. Um, and we have an annual uh, ESG report, so environmental social governance, where we also look into our impact on the environment for scope one and two, for example. And uh, as from last year, we also are reporting on scope three. Who is responsible for this report? Well, I'm finally responsible to deliver all the data, but it's a mutual effort basically from the whole company because of course I need to get all the information from the different departments uh, to be able to uh, give the final uh, information to create the report. So it really is a half app uh, uh, responsibility in the end, but I have to chase everybody to get the information. And what is the role of the financial department and the accountant in this process? 
Well, they, of course, uh, are responsible for checking uh, the numbers and give me the information on uh, what wages have we paid, what spends did we have with different locations. Um, and we are also looking into uh, the challenges in that way because, uh, of course, uh, more and more data uh, needs to be supplied. There is also legislation coming up. Um, so, um, it's yeah, sometimes it's hard to get all the data that you need to be able to do a uh, good reporting. What do you consider as the biggest risk in sustainability reporting? Well, uh, I think that it's really important when you report that you are reporting on facts. Uh, because, of course, you can report on, on a feeling, but yeah, it, it's all about the facts and the data that you really uh, can give. And um, it's um, uh, very handy to have like a management system or an IT system that can help you give that information and data. But yeah, not all companies have the money to invest in a system like that. Um, so we are also slowly developing that uh, to see how can we get the data and report it in an easier way instead of using only Excels with everything in it. <laughs>